yes. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Public Defender's Office, 360-385-5613. Yes. I think it is coercion, yes, and retaliation, Sheriff Joe, for me documenting the crime of um, arresting me without an actual uh, legal protection order, yes. And then I send those emails every day. Today I sent about 3,000 emails. Oh, mm -hmm. Now, um, I thought this was very important. Mm -hmm. um, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, we looked at this? Yeah. Uh, do not sign this form. Right. And uh, consent there. 1025. And they were really nice at the Housing Resource Center, but they told me that as soon as I get evicted and I have to stay at the shelter again, yeah, um, that I should go back and reapply for rental assistance. And I thought, well, since I stayed at the shelter before I applied for rental assistance, yes. I thought it was kind of mean to have to get evicted, yes, and then have to go back and apply for rental assistance. <laughs> As if when I applied for the rental assistance on the 17th of October, yes, Somebody intentionally was obstructing my right to have rental assistance. Yes. Now, um, I thought this was really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, section 2, Section 3. Uh, let's brainstorm. Okay. Some places you may be able to safely stay or who can assist you financially until you can stabilize your housing. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't have any friends that I could call. Yeah, I didn't have any family members. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's no family or friends. There's no one to call. I don't have a mother, an uncle, or an aunt that's been paying to obstruct my rights. Yes. Now, uh, it's good that she used the brainstorming. Yeah, ideas for income, work source, indeed, uh, maybe websites. Mm. Mm. My concern is that um, I didn't have a place to shower and shave every day. Yes. And the agreement was that I'd just sleep there and then do a little extra work. And I feel good about what I've done for the actual owner of the of the premises. <laughs> Fixed her thousand dollar stereo system. Yeah. Fixed all her electronics. Yeah. Fixed her table, glued it, mm -hmm. fixed her window and fixed other things. <laughs> I feel like it's been a win win. Oh, oh, oh. But I'm really thinking that the Sheriff's Department owes me some victims' resources. Yes. See, I didn't get any actual notice of court hearings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants me to go to work source or websites, and somebody wants me to pay wage garnishments for back child support, and somebody wants me to uh, just have this pain and suffering for the rest of my fucking life, you piece of shit. Now, I'm wanting to sue you. Oop, oop, Judge Roar. <laughs> Judge Melly. Popo, Judge Gogenhauer. <laughs> Each and every Superior Court judge in the state of Washington, as well as those that are District Court judges. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I just wondered, um, this three to $600 to be determined partially a public expense? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do I pay my public defender for using the personal business phone of the prosecuting attorney. <clears throat> I mean, is that something I get charged for? Or was that a gratis telephone to call me on the... <clears throat> now I'm really <clears throat> wanting to sue the fucking shit right now. Okay. Am I paying my public defender to call me on Brett Roberts' personal telephone? Because when you really Google the number, yes. Mm -hmm. As an indigent, are you sure you're not abusing your authority to have court hearings? Ouch. Now, I talked to you about being a whistleblower before. <laughs> the Judge Landis, uh-huh. <laughs> it's been a year and uh, two months. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fourteen months that you decided that you would continue this trial right now. Fourteen months. Mm -hmm. Fourteen months. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Uh, this is, household may be candidate for shelter services or rapid rehousing services. Yes. Uh, since I was staying at the homeless shelter, uh -huh. is the sheriff's department sure that I'm not eligible for rapid rehousing services? Now, 
I know that I stayed at the shelter before I got the appointment. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I do realize, right, that somebody decided to be a total fucking dick. And today I'm really wanting some serious lawsuits. See, when you stay at a homeless shelter, yes. And then you stay at the emergency bed so as to make sure that nobody else rents the room. Right. And then you and the actual owner of the location, right, go together mm -hmm, to tell me that I'm not eligible is a bunch of fucking bullshit. Do you understand right now? Actually, I do fit the definition mm -hmm, of rapid housing uh, services. Yes. If so, okay, let's look at section three. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Uh, housing barriers, income, coach. This background check where you continued to arrest me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a real barrier to income, Sheriff. Oh. <laughs> when you issued court orders in 2011 and I wasn't a resident of the state of Washington. Then you had me arrested oh, a week after my wife filed for disillusion of marriage. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you didn't arrest me for violating the conditions of the unsupervised probation. No. <laughs> you arrested me for violating... <clears throat> now, I want to sue every oath of office in this county. Yes, in this state. Yes. In every fucking state of the United States. Because you're playing a little game called We Can Abuse Our Authority and Paul Can't... <laughs>